Yes, yes, people, good morning. Good morning out there from me and La Ninja. Hello. Yes, people, peace and love to you. Hope you're all well. Just chilling on this, uh, where are we, Ninja? Monday morning? Yeah. We're Monday, we're Monday. It's early, it's early. I've been up. Oh, I've done the school run today. Oh, do you know what? It's hard work, isn't it? Obviously, I've got to do it. I'm off today, so I've got to help out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we're having a day off. We're having a day off, people. I will be back to doing some work tomorrow. But today, it's chill out day. Yes, yes. Hope you're all well. So we thought we'd just say a little hello in the morning and make sure you're all right. Yes, yes. We got to do a little bit of sort of downloading, uploading, this, that, the other. We got a lot of catching up on the channels to do. So lots and lots of um, work to do behind the scenes. Um, so although we are having a bit of a rest day, we're kind of not really, we're still working. We're still working. But it's back to full steam ahead tomorrow. So by all means, check us out. We'll be out and about people. Peace one love to you, yes, yes. So what are we talking about today? Mainly news, isn't it, Ninja? There's a few yeah. things that have um, completely got our goats, to be fair. And I'm sure it has with you guys as well. So, but good morning, get your cups of tea ready. <laughs> Roll up, smoke up, choke up with me. Yes, yes, you know how it goes. Oh, that's nice. Can't beat tea in the morning, can you? Well, the police is kind of like in a little bit of a mess at the minute, isn't they? They're a, a sort of a, a situation where they look like they're imploding. They ain't doing very, very well. Um, the news that keeps coming out after this Wayne Cousins is just like, it's absolutely shocking. We've been literally watching the news over the past couple of days with, you know, with our mouths open really. Like, oh my God, what is going on with all this? Do you want to go through some of the stats, Ninja? What have you got now? Because we've done a few few notes. I've got airs in my tea. Bloody joys of cats. Cheers. that they charged PC David Carrick with rape, who was a parliamentary and diplomatic peace officer. So that's the next one now that they've basically caught recently, haven't they? So that they're just, it's like a can of worms now, isn't it? It's like now they got one, it's like somebody is looking and they're just like, Jesus Christ, there's loads in here. There's loads in here. Sickening, really. It's, it's scary. To think people like that are in the police force, do you know what I mean? Are we ever going to have the faith back now after this, you know? There's one thing dealing with, you know, Wayne Cousins and put to justice and all that, but it's just amusing, it does that. It's, it's, it's just going to be very, very hard to sort of get the public's faith back in, you know, the situation, to be fair. Very, very difficult now, so... I mean, obviously, all not all police are corrupt. That's no, of course not they're not. Like I, like I said, there's good police out there, and we know that for a fact because we've come across them. You know, we've come across the bad ones as well. So. But the stats that are coming through, there needs to be some changes of who they're letting into the police force. Yeah. 150 serving officers have to have convictions for offences ranging from assault to drugs. A thousand officers probed over offensive online messaging. Um, Wayne Cousins, uh, someone handing a video of him exposing himself at a McDonald's two days before the murder of Sarah. Two days, three days before the uh, the murder, he was exposing himself at a McDonald's drive-thru. Just, just let it sink in. Just let it sink in, yeah? How, how are these men... The majority how, how, again after that after those how, how are they why why is he not even suspended on like do you know what I mean on until further investigation on full pay or whatever they need to do until they can investigate it and then once they see they, they could have stopped that murder they could have stopped that murder they had the evidence in their hands to be able to stop a murder and they they didn't do it they let that girl down and they let everyone else down, and they let anyone else down who's come in contact with him, because who knows? Who knows? Yeah? Again, you look at Fred West, and they're like, oh yeah, just a few victims, and then it's just like, dig, dig, hang on a minute, we got, we got loads here. And it's like they were digging for one person. One person they were digging for, yeah? And that was a shocker. Yeah, they didn't expect that, did they? So I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm putting it out there. It's not saying that he hasn't done it before, and he hasn't, hasn't sort of, there isn't other victims out there, to be fair. And if he's doing it, and you've got all these police in the uh, police force, you know, 
No wonder nobody trusts her. No, no, no wonder nobody would go to her, you know. Most children wouldn't run to a copper now, they'd run away from them, you know. She nearly fell off that. But the fact that, you know, just going back to like soap, soaps, a lot of, you know, a lot of these soap people, you know, when they're younger, they've put a stupid message up on Facebook, you know, whether it's racial abuse or sexual abuse or whatever, instantly they are sacked. Yeah. As soon as it's come out, it is sacked. How have 150 serving officers got into the police force with convictions? And they're stopping people on drugs when they're taking drugs or got convictions yeah, themselves. It's sickening. And as a woman myself, I, I don't feel safe around police officers right now. No. And if anyone honest, stops I don't... me, I will be turning the other way. Exactly. Come and arrest me, because I don't care. Yeah. If they're unmarked in that situation, yeah. If they're marked, you're going to have to, unfortunately. It's a marked car. You can't run away it's from disgusting. a marked car. Disgusting. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise anyone to run away from a marked car. But you know, what I mean, like say, if somebody calls up to you and you can't identify them 100% as a police officer, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So again, the police will have to change things now. They won't be able to pull over, pull over people. I think with undercover vehicles. I don't know. They're going to need to get something. I don't know. They just need to be know. harder on who they're they need getting to, into the police. Exactly. They need to get to some proper people. What you know? This needs to be. Why are they not being checked over? This needs to be a time now and a situation where um, the police finally, finally gets cleaned up once and for all. And you need to get rid of that top bird, whoever she is, because she's had her chance. Yeah, get rid of her. Do you know what I mean? I'm not being funny, but you've been in charge, you've failed miserably. And you failed want to, women yeah? miserably. And then you want another chance. Get the fuck out of here. You're get the woman. fuck out of here. She's you a woman silly herself, cow. and she has not protected no, any woman in no. this country. Let's get somebody else. Let's get somebody else in, yeah? Let's get another, another high-ranking female police officer in who will give a shit about women and, you know, this complete mess and try and try and clean it up somehow, which I don't know how they're going to do, to be fair. I don't know how they're going to get the faith back. It's going to take years and years to... to I mean, if it, if it even gets any better, it'll probably get worse now because if you've got all these crap fuckers in there, what else is going to come out of it? What else is going to come We're out of it? We're just going to see more news of, of corruption, aren't we? It's just going to keep trickling out now. It makes me angry because my grandfather was a police officer. and um, My uncle was as well. You know, and they were good police officers. They were good police officers back in the day. And um, it makes me sick. And I'm sure he would be turning his grave right now if he could see what was going on with all this sort of business with the police. It's an absolute disgrace. And um, the fact that they all huddle together and they all look after each other as well, don't yeah. they? They're like a pack of dogs. Yeah. Cops code. Cops code. You got a rapist in between you. That's but all that's right. It's all right. It's we'll fine. You, We're the police. Worry. We're the police. It yeah. Don't matter that you've You're all someone. right, son. You're yeah. all right. You're allowed to rape in the police. It's disgusting. It's disgusting behaviour. I is... can't imagine what Sarah Everett's family is oh, going I bet through I bet, right now. I bet they're broken. I bet they're broken. Out. And all the other people. Think about all the other all missing the other, missing yeah. people. There is thousands and thousands of missing people every year. You know, hundreds of thousands, millions, yeah? Children go missing all the time. And you've got these, these guys on the, street, on the street, like, you know, cousins and others. And like getting the other one. It's just wrong, isn't it? Yeah. What was his name? David Carrick. Oh, Carrick, the wrong one. So... The fact that he was in parliamentary and diplomatic piece in is just even worse in my eyes. I mean, what the, just what the? <laughs> I'm going off subject slightly, but um, old, uh, what do you call it? Prince Andrew's uh, mate is just being charged with running the paedophile ring as well. So slightly linking into the, the corruption of, of everything, you know, the police, the, the royals, the everything. Completely corrupt by the look of it. Um, it ain't a good time, people out there, is it, eh? What do we do about this situation, you say? We need to start again, don't we? We need to get the wrong ones out. They need to completely refresh the police force. This is their only opportunity now to shake it up once and for all. So what they need to do, in my opinion, this is what I would do. I would triple, 
quadruple vet anyone who is coming into the police force and make sure 100% they are squeaky clean, they're on the right hymn sheet and they're going to do the job effectively and just get rid of all the rogue ones like they did with the bouncers back in the day where you had all the bouncers on the door, all the big ones, you would just literally punch your head in um, but most of them were had criminal convictions so it was really, really easy for, um, for, for the club scene to... to to clean that scene up very, very, very easily. All it did, anyone with a criminal conviction was not allowed to go on the door, right? So all of a sudden you had a new breed of, you know, doormen. And it was sad for some of the doormen because a lot of them doormen were really, really good. Although they were our core, um, you know, they, they were sort of moved out and that was a way of cleaning it up. They wanted it clean. They didn't want any bruises on the door. They didn't want people to get punched in the face and stuff like that when they were coming coming into their club and have all the repercussions, legal repercussions. They would rather have bouncers there who were diffused in the situation, not causing arguments, calmly, calmly, like the bouncers are now. Most of them were pretty good, to be fair, I've got to say. And they did, didn't they? It yeah. cleaned it up quite well. I'm sure there's still one or two out there, but you have a different breed of bouncer now. They're more talking, calming, they're a little bit more sort of intelligent rather than bang, bang, bang. So that's just one example of something that worked nationwide. It absolutely 100% cleaned up um, that particular, you know, situation, yeah? So you could do a similar thing with a police force, you know, just on a much, 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 much bigger scale. You've identified, what was the thousand they've identified? Is that total? Thousand officers probed over offensive online messages. Online messaging. Racial abuse. Racial abuse. Are you kidding content. me? A thousand of you, and that means if there's a thousand of you being caught, there's probably at least another two or three on top of that, because obviously the police will cover that up as well, as we've already seen in the past. They will cover things up. They will, um, you know, try and look after their own sort of thing. So. I'm sure that number of a thousand is really at least two, three, even quite, you know, it could be five, six thousand. What is, is really what is the true figure really of the wrong ones out there who haven't been caught? That's just the ones that have been caught. Considering yeah? how big our country is and how many, you know, police in each area that they've got, it, that, it's gonna be pretty high, isn't it? That's not everyone that they've caught, that's just the few that they've caught. It's, it's just not looking good and it's just it's time now to have a change I think Boris you are a complete and utter bell end I've got to say you need to sort this out now you really really do if you're ever going to get any faith back in this country now is the time isn't it yeah. if, if, if he was going to do something and like you say people think oh, he's not too bad really he's done that now's the time Boris seriously You've been an absolute blundering idiot all the way through um, the COVID situation. Um, completely, you know what I mean, cocked it up really, didn't you? Let's be honest. Um, so now is your time to shine. Now is your time to shine, yeah? You want to come down on these police officers with an absolute sort of iron sort of fist. You really, really want to be firm at the situation and deal with it. Get rid of it, you know what I mean? It's just not right. It's just not right, is it? No. Yeah? You cannot stand there, Boris, and say, trust the police. You cannot stand there oh, and say that. Can't right say now. that. Women don't trust the police, and you can't blame them for not trusting the And that's the bad, police. because there might be people out there now, women, whoever, you know, many, you know, everybody, yeah? Yeah? Who might be in a situation now where they really, really need to call the police, yeah? And they won't. They're too scared. And that could be, you know, fatal, you know? It could be fatal. You imagine what happened, you know, what could happen if, if somebody didn't make that, you know, vital 999 call to somebody at that particular point where their life was in danger because they were too scared of calling the police. It just begs, mate, it begs. And like I say, this is why I'm just calling for a complete overhaul of the police service. It needs to be completely changed. They need to vet, like I say, vet, vet, triple vet, anyone who's coming in, anyone with any sort of you know, online grooming, um, racism, um, any of that sort of, any of that behavior, right, should not be permitted. It shouldn't be permitted, should it? No. Yeah? You shouldn't have racist police officers, for Christ's sake, man. You know? Because that just,
goes straight onto the street then, doesn't it, when they're arresting people. And that's affecting their judgment then when they're arresting people. And that's where you're, you know, all this sort of racism comes in and stuff like that. Because you've got a few bad apples in there who are making it wrong for everyone else. You know, and men getting demonised now because of people like Wayne Cousins. And it's just like, you know, men shouldn't be demonised. The police should be demonised for what they've done, you know, by letting people like that into a, a, a place of authority and not in that but be warned be warned that he's a wrong earn he's flashing himself exposing himself and then do nothing about it and let him have you know let him have his way and murder somebody that's a complete let down complete complete let down and all they can do is apologize yeah it's okay if you apologize isn't it yeah Apology is not good it's enough. okay if you apologize isn't it it ain't, is it? It ain't. That ain't bringing that girl back and that ain't bringing any of those missing people back as well. So, you know, like I say, how many of them are connected to this? It's frightening people. As a mother of a daughter as well, it's like scary, you know? She wasn't much older than our daughter is. No. And that could have been her. Oh, no. And it's just... Like, what the fuck? It's frightening. It is frightening. The fact that you don't feel safe anywhere these days, it's just... But again, this is why we do what we do. We, you know, we have a variety of things we do on this channel, but this is, like, why we we do try and highlight things which we don't think is right, do we really, to be fair? And this is really, it's just gripped us, but not in a good way. It's gripped us in an absolute sort of, you know, horrified sort of, you know, pit in my stomach, I feel sick, yeah. I do, I feel sick talking about this, and I just hope that in the next couple of days, the police come up with a massive, massive, massive plan to try and get the confidence back, because I don't want to be unconfident in the police, I don't think it's good, I think we need, we need some something to look at, we need the police force to look at and think that they will protect us and, and you know, have the faith to be able to pick up the phone and you know call the police and you know do whatever but I don't want to be this way I really don't so don't think I'm trying to you know sort of be against the police force because I don't want to be against them I just want I want them to do the job and I want like I say it's a shame because there's good ones in there and it's like like they, they must just feel horrible at the minute being stuck in amongst yeah. a half corrupt police force really when, like you say, there's some decent ones, I reckon that you need to dish them decent coppers out, find out them really decent ones, yeah, and then get them up to the top, get them running it, get get all of these other ones out that have failed, and yeah, let let the guys who have really proven themselves and their records are squeaky clean, let them go and have an opportunity now, yeah, I think, because them's the sort of people who will worm the wrong ones out, yeah. So, I mean, there shouldn't be any wrong ones in anyway, should there? No. It should be absolutely no... should have no convictions at all going into the police no. force. Not a single, not for assault, not for drugs, uh -huh. not for anything. Shoplifting, if you're going to be a police officer, you need to be 100% squeaky clean. Absolutely. And if you're not 100% squeaky clean... It annoys me because, I, you know, we, we, we are law-abiding citizens. Obviously, I take cannabis for medical reasons. I'm medically registered. Um, but I'm demonised because of that and it's just like, it's just so unfair that I'm demonised because of something I take for a medical reason, yet these guys can have, do, can have proper, proper convictions, convictions, yeah, they're proper sort of criminals if you like, and they're in the police, yet somebody like me, squeaky clean, never had an issue, you know what I'm saying, and um, I'm demonised because you know I use something for a medical reason, and it's just it's it's this it's the just the world needs to change, doesn't it? Really, that's where the world needs to change. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. Legalise cannabis now, Boris. Yeah. And then if you did that, you could then spend the money basically on all the time that you're wasting on people having a little bit of puff, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could spend all that time then on, on the wrong ends and concentrate on, you know, really sort of putting something into the police force and making something out of it. 
And then again, if you legalise the cannabis, you would give people jobs as well. So that would then create, obviously, a boom in the economy. Bing, bang, bosh. America's done it. Probably every other state in the world has done it. Every other country in the world has done it, apart from the UK. Crazy people, crazy. So all right there, that's what I, I say. Legalise cannabis, that will fund your police, yeah? Because you won't need to, like I say, you won't need to spend all that hours on them. They can then focus on the criminals, you know, get all the wrong ones out of the police force. Hey presto, yet again, cannabis has saved the world. I can show you every time how it will save the world. There's another scenario. Just think about it, think about it. I know probably a few of you are scratching your heads right now, but just think about it, yeah? But pretty disgusting, <laughs> really. Don't really know what to say. I just hope that in the next couple of days, the cats are up there, aren't they? She's in that box. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Got cats above us, people. <laughs> dear, dear me. I don't know how they're going to go forward, though, to make women feel safe. Oh, oh no, I, they, I know. No, we'll give them alarms. We'll give we'll all give everyone la alarms and then uh, they'll feel safe going down the road with the buzzer. Get the fuck out of here, seriously. That's what they'll say. Yeah, but that's not going to be good enough. It's not. Well, I enough. what do you know what I, I say? You need Bob is back on the beat. Yeah. When was the last time you saw a police officer walking in your neighbourhood? They they made that comment on GMB this morning. Yeah, just a point. Yeah, just a point. Police officers don't do what police officers used to do, do you know what I'm saying? Although they were quite corrupt back in the day, like, but in my granddad's day they weren't. They were a lot better, to be fair. I think it was but a little had, later on. You had two coppers, a male and a female, doing the beat. together down the street. It in your local. Two males but it was, two they were females. everywhere. They were, in your lo they were in your local villages, they were in towns, they were everywhere. Why have we not got bobbies on the beat now? Why? Are we too scared? I think that's the problem, is because of the faith in the police now, and this, they're not going to want to put police on the street. It's going to be call out only. Take away! <laughs> but I think in order to maybe make females feel a little bit safer, they need to stop doubling at males. I mean... No, I agree. Like I agree. when we had the incident before, it was a group of males, one female. I know, it's very intimidating. And it was just like... As a female myself, that shouldn't have happened. No. You should have had half and half. If you hadn't have been here, I've had, we've, I'd have had been... we've had lots of dealings with the police, so obviously I'm quite clued up on how to deal with them, and I. But they need to start putting the women with the men and stop doubling up the men on, they on do. in the they cars. They do. They do. Because if you're going to stop someone, then I'm sorry, unless you've got a female police officer with you, I ain't stopping. I ain't stopping. She's got a point there. That's, that is a valid, valid, valid point, is it no not? No different to going to the doctors and having a checkup with a male doctor. No thank you, give me the nurse, thanks. No thanks, yeah, the male doctor comes in like rubbing his hands. Dirty bastard. So no, I'm more, joking, if there's some good more, doctors out there, no, female, that's more. More female officers but, need you know to be I mean? with the male officers and not doubling up the males. This is from a woman's point of view, so this is good to be fair, so, yeah. There's not, there's not enough females on the street. There's not. It'd be not, it'd be interesting to see out of those stats how many are men and how many are women, because that's the only, the only thing we haven't got there. Yeah, that'd be yeah. really, really interesting. My, my call would be there's not that many women. There'll be a few. But I don't think there'll be that. But I think the majority of that. I'm sorry, but you know, it's, I'm demonising the man myself now, ain't I? I'd love, I'd love to see them stats, but I would think the majority would be men. Would you say, or am I wrong? No, am I being? I, no, I think, I think. Well, am I just being stereotypical? Women, women haven't like they're not in the news. You know, the women police really. officers aren't in the news for rape or murder or. Whatever. You haven't seen a female police officer being put into court because they raped someone. But yet in the news it's all about the men. So yeah, it would be interesting. You have got a point. You have got a point there. I mean, out of the 1,000 officers, pro for offensive, probably, I don't know, 100 females maybe out of that 1,000? Maybe? 
I reckon you're right, 10%. I would say 10%. I'd love to see the stats again. That's just, you know what I mean? We're just hypothetically just talking here. We're just, you know, just throwing it out there. If someone obviously has got that detail, it would be interesting to know what the what, what the mix is there between, yeah, it'd be really, really interesting. So, and then for them, they, they, they'd they know whether they'd have, mind you, you couldn't just concentrate on one sex, could you? That'd just be stupid, so, but. I'm sure there are female police officers that are corrupt. You know, and I have done bad things, but we have. But I'm seen talking it about the like the, the, the flashing and the sexual. You don't really get that from women. The sexual offences and stuff, yeah. You're more likely to get a corrupt teacher, female yeah. teacher corrupting kids more than you've seen a police officer, a woman police officer corrupt and sexual and murder. So I, d I don't know. It'll be interesting to see the the stats, like said. We've got to root the wrong ends out. So the message is the same. We have to root the wrong ends out, people. So everyone out there has got to just, do you know what I mean? Have a word on this one, definitely. And um, you know what I mean? Let's get the police force cleaned up once and for all, because like I say, if they don't do something drastic now, they're out there just like I say. They're not gonna have any faith, especially from women. They will really not get the. Feedback. I'd be happier if if they made the, all the police redundant and brought the army in right now. Wouldn't you? Would yeah. you feel safer calling the army? Yeah. Right. Wouldn't you? Would you? Would you out there feel safer calling the army if the army was on an emergency number like the police? Yeah. So say the army was your new police, right? Would you be safer calling the army out or would you call the police out? Please put your comments below because that is a very 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 good point because the army do take over they do take over when when governments are corrupt and we've seen this in other countries they it's a co-op isn't it basically a coop basically coop <laughs> got the coop but yeah you know what i mean they basically go in there and they basically they take over and they basically until the new government's formed and then they'll come back out there until the new governments are formed so does it need to be something like that do the army need to get involved now or are we at that stage they're talking about the army getting involved to clean everything else up for us like getting the the, the fuel, fuel tankers so do we need the army to do even more i think we do and i think that would be fantastic i'm glad we've done this video because all in one little round video we've come to a fantastic conclusion that if we got the army involved right now people would be a lot lot sort of better off wouldn't they well you've only got to look at the you know the soldiers over in Paul, you know, when they were lifting up babies and yeah. women and putting them over the yeah. wall to keep them safe. Our police officers aren't doing that for us. What the fuck? And yet you've got the army who are protecting the women and the children and doing everything they can. And yet our police officers can't Makes do that. Angry. Makes you angry. Makes you really, that. really angry, doesn't it? Really, really angry. As a woman, I would I would feel safer with the army right there now. There you go. So, Justin's world. King Justin says oh, hell. yes Justin. yes <laughs> what we need to do yeah we need to call the army in. we need to get the army in to sort this out get the police out the way for the minute you know <coughs> put, put them on the back burner so they can sort themselves out yeah once they've sort them, sorted themselves out and showed to the army and the rest of the world that we are absolutely 100 percent better and they're in a better position to carry on then obviously the army can then sort of you know step out that's what i say i think the british army should get involved now yeah because this country is going to absolute shit and somebody needs to do something about it yeah and i think the army boys they won't take no mess in they won't take no mess in yeah i did miss one point um actually 26 of the met police officers have committed sex offenses since 2016 <sighs> that includes rape and indecent images what rape 26 met police what they can officers get away with rape they have committed since 2016. what and still being police no they've I, been I taken out been taken oh i'm gonna out. say yeah that's but... how many that they've caught since 2016 26 of them have been caught for rape indecent images child pornography whatever and that again you know what i mean it's not giving any faith is it really it's not doing very good is it we call on the british army right now to come on and sort this situation out yeah that's what this situation needs it needs the army get the army and get the british army boys in they'll sort it out 
They'll sort it out. Maybe if they brought the British Army right back in the beginning of COVID, you they know, don't take no mess in. We we would maybe not be in this we such wouldn't. a big situation as we are now. Bring the army in. Come on, Boris. Bring the army in. Can't live. Yeah? They can't pay their bills. The gas has gone up. You know, people are choosing between heating and food every month. It's a fucking joke. It's a joke. And Boris needs to sort it out. He does. It's Boris the guy to sort it out. We'll no. soon find out, won't we? I did have faith in him. I don't anymore. I've got to be honest. I don't have any. No faith in Boris. I'm afraid. Like for him to stand up and say, you know, our oh, police, you know, trust them. Trust the police. Nice. Trust the police. But Boris, got, got come on, your bell end. <laughs> You've only got to look at the stats that we've been given this morning, and that's just on one local news station. You know, get the papers out. There's probably a hundred more stories yeah, in is, the papers this is. morning. Yeah, you know? there is. How many more women are going to come forward because they've been assaulted by a police officer and have been too scared to come forward? How many people have maybe been raped by a police officer and too scared to come forward? It's crazy, isn't it? It's well, again, without all that CCT, CCTV footage of like the buses and whatever, they wouldn't have caught him, would they? No, no. So this is what I'm saying. It was a passerby, wasn't you it? You don't know. Like, like There's many, many, them. many other things that have been got away with out there. These are just, again, the, the very small percentage that have been caught. So it just is frightening, it's frightening. Like I say, it's not a good time for women right now. Yeah. It isn't, you know, it's a horrible time for women and their security of going out and, you know, and that's because the, the police force has let us down, so. I think they're gonna be watched a lot because- What police you know, Yeah, because this passerby obviously that saw Sarah with Wayne Cousins, you know, and didn't think to stop because he was a police officer. I well, thought, you wouldn't, oh, would you? Must have done something you, wrong. you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Imagine how he's he, in the middle he of day. He's feeling now. He's in the middle of daylight. Well, not daylight, but he's just like it's just Early looks normal, evening, doesn't it? It, it, it looks, looks normal. So I can't imagine how that passerby is feeling that you know they could have potentially stopped. But why would you? Why would you? Well, stop you're not going to go and get involved with a police no. arrest, are you? You just think it's an undercover. But now and I it's think like you know a drug eyes, bust or something. Eyes are going to be on them. You know, people passing so. by that I, people I, are getting stopped. People are going to be watching. No, I don't know. I don't know. People are going to be watching. Okay. The yeah. I hope I so. I do. I'd be very surprised if they don't. Any woman who doesn't needs their head looking at. Bring the army in, people. Bring the army in. Tell me what you think of that and uh, stick it in the comments below. But I think that would be the solution for now is to, um, like you say, put the police on the back burner. Yeah, let them sort themselves out, bring in the army for the time being. More CCTVs as well. These little back passages and stuff that, you know, women tend to go down because it's a shortcut to work. We've got one that's near us, you know, in the train station. And I wouldn't even dream that's, that's of got, walking through there. That's got cameras own. and people have still been raped yeah. down there. But they need so. to put more in. Well, they do, they do. They put, they put security on there now. Entrance, haven't they? Yeah. they haven't put anything in the middle. You're not going to come They put anything. security on there in the daytime, but again, on the night time, what they should do is close it off, not let people use it because it's not safe. Do you agree? Yeah, I do. Shut but... it off. They'll have to go round on the street there where there is then, you know, proper CCTV, there's cars. So, but there's a lot of things you could do. There's yeah. a lot of things you could do to make things safer More than lighting what they are. as well. More lighting. The lighting's crap. Areas. Since they put these LEDs in everywhere, you can't see jack, can you? They don't light up the streets half as much as the, and I know it's obviously energy saving and stuff like that, but again, there's gotta be a safety point of view. Yeah. Or obviously the technology with these lights has gotta got to have been that good at the minute that they can put better lights in and just spend a little bit more money. But yeah. And if you look at people who have been murdered as well, like the, I can't think of the young lady that's been murdered recently, um, but she was found in a park. Yeah. Why are these parks not got more CTV in them? Yeah. Our parks are safe. Yeah. We haven't got any, there's no light in, no, there's no CTV. No. And people do, do it's shortcuts. And Romulans always live by parks. It's a fact. You look back at, you know, a lot of it. Wrong ends, they always live close to or around a park. So that's a valid point, isn't it, really? I mean, I've got my head screwed on. I won't walk anywhere where there's. No, you, know, you won't walk dark. through a park at night, I, you know? I, definitely I am not. Very not, not. about where I walk. No. 
I won't go through any alleyways. I mean, at the end of the day, we come from Fred West territory, so people were taken off the street left, right, and centre <laughs> where we, we grew up, literally. And um, so, yeah, we've always had those warnings and stuff like that. We've always been a little bit more probably alert than a lot of other people because the stuff was going on in the area here. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You know, Mary Bastone went missing from the same street that I grew up in. So, you know, it went on around us all the time, people, all the time. Again, if there had been CCTV down that area, they may have caught him doing it, you know? But yet again, no CCTV. So you've got one witness that said Mary's in the, got in yeah. the van, but that's it. And the rest of them were in Fred's bar at Cromwell Street, <laughs> waiting to do some process. Having a drink in his Caribbean bar, weren't they? It's all corrupt, isn't it, eh? It's all corrupt, isn't it? It ain't good. It ain't good when you link it back. Anyway, Ninja, peace, one, love. Peace, one, love. Do you want to get behind the camera so and, yeah, click it? Peace, one, love, people. Thanks for watching. Stick your comments below. Really good debate. And we'll see you guys really, really soon, yeah? But take care of you and yours out there. And don't take any shit. Do not get bullied off, people. And we will be back really, really soon, yeah? Peace.